Danger Dolan here. I had a chat with Az from Hill vs. Babyface about all things World of Warcraft and Warlords of Draenor. You can see part 1 of this video if you go to Az's channel with a link down below. This is part 2 of the recording. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, there's only like a, a couple of other features in this mm. new patch we haven't talked about, which is the, uh, the dungeons, the new ones, and also the bonus events. Uh, yeah, I you don't, don't want to spend if... half an hour talking about the adventure guide. Um, uh, actually, let's let's have it as a separate podcast, man. A two-hour podcast. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to talk about the adventure guide because I think there's at least two hours of conversation there. Yeah, maybe yeah. three. Yeah, yeah, we can push yeah. that. Okay, so um, should we go into uh, should we talk about dungeons now? Sure. sure. Six point two dungeons. Have you done mythic the dungeons. mythic or hmm? time walking? Sorry. Have you done mythic Th or time walking? Yeah, I've done, but I've done both. Sure. Uh, what are your so impressions? I, I, <laughs> um, time walking. <laughs> I I re already renamed them time wasting dungeons. <laughs> um, the problem I look, I've got a major problem with time time walking in as much as number one, I think it would have been actually a very good idea to have time walking as a as a reputation faction in six point two. I think it would have been a great way to link narrative to a new piece of content that they were trying to introduce. Okay. Blizzard have introduced two major features in this patch, which have just been swept under the rug, which are the mythic dungeons and time walking. Because to me, they could both have a, a huge, um, you know, a huge impact in the game. They could have a huge sort of uplift. They could really kind of elevate people in the World of Warcraft mm. to try different content or, in Time Walking case, previous content if they were treated correctly. But sadly, they brought it out exactly how I felt they would, which is just tweak the numbers down. Yeah, God. And, and so suddenly, what was meant to be this, what could have been this amazing nostalgia trip um, to me, I, I think I described it in one of my videos, was dragging a starlet out of the retirement home from the 1920s, sticking her in a bikini, to putting her on stage and telling her to be sexy. And it's just like, that's never going to happen, folks. You know, sure, she's lovely. Okay, she might not remember what she had for breakfast or what her children are called. But, you know, back in the day, she was phenomenal. You can't reclaim the magic when you don't have the right ingredients that the magic was comprised of in the first place. And the game from the Burning Crusade to how the game is now is chalk and cheese. The div those dungeons were fucking hard <laughs> yeah. in, uh, you know, in, in Burning Crusade. They were tough, they required CC, they, involved, they required proper tank pools, proper healing, uh, threat generation and threat drops by dps's there was a lot going on in the whole of that and i'm not just talking the boss fights we're talking just on the trash never mind the boss fights mm. and then suddenly they've lfr'd it they've bastardized it they've turned it into a slight sightseeing tour and it's just it's horrible it's just horrible to go in and just use a cataclysm on a mob pack and just see the, the mobs just blow up yeah. Because this level 100 ability, even though it's been scaled down to level 70, whatever, I still have access to all this functionality of 30 levels of functionality, which I think should be, A, number one, locked off to me. I should only be able to use my abilities up to level 70 they, if I'm in a level 70. They tried that. Uh, they tried to lock out abilities when they had it on the, uh, uh, I think, like, people glitched it out so they could actually do mm. this time walking before it was even a feature. And they tried that, and it just didn't feel right at all. Like, it, it, like you would try and press the button, and it would just be grayed out. And it's like, what is yeah. happening? I don't understand. Yeah. I don't know how to play anymore. Uh, <laughs> I, but I think, I, think there is, uh, I think there is a way to do time walking. Like, obviously, they're not going to sink a lot of time into uh, tweaking everything so that it feels right at max level. Like, I think mm. the, the kind of accepted that they're just going to be lazy with that at this point. Uh, but yeah. I think that they could have at least, like, they could have left it's all the trash. Sad. They could have left all the trash as it is. Like, who cares, man? It's just trash. But when it comes to the bosses, they could have at least gone in and fixed up their abilities or given them some new thing or at least just made them really, really hard so that, mm. you know, that, that wouldn't require a huge amount of effort, not as much effort as completely redoing the whole uh, the whole instance. But at but least then, we would the, sorry, yeah. the biggest complaint, though, that I've heard from the community is the fact that if you're a level 100 player going being scaled down and doing it, it's face walk. Yeah. 
If you're a level 70 player, because anyone from 70 up to a level 100 can do this, if you're a level 70 player and you're doing it, it's ridiculously hard because they've kind of scaled it for all of the level 100 people's abilities. Right. So these people that don't have access to these uh, yeah, additional 30 that. level of abilities are really struggling. I mean, that's what I've heard. That's my kind of uh, feedback which I'm getting from players at the moment. Low level players are struggling. High level players are just not even batting an eyelid yeah. of, of that content and therefore it's not fun. But I, I've got a video. I'm not going to go too much into it. I'm not going sh to show all my cards. But I've got a video coming out soon about how I would have actually utilized time walking as a reputation and how I, do, how I would have used that to, to make time walking instead of just a, a tweaking down of numbers, how to potentially have brought some fun to it. Um, uh, yeah, but that's that's for another time. But I think the way that they've done it has just been a it's just a wet it's a waste to me. Mm. It doesn't it doesn't enhance if it if a piece of content doesn't enhance a gamer's experience of the game, it, to me it shouldn't even be in the game. Yeah. Yeah, there's no point in just putting it stuff in for the sake of putting it in. It's got to have a relevance because it's and not a relevance in as much as you just over incentivize let's just put shit in because this seems to be the thing let's just put shit in and chuck a huge reward on top of it and then people are just like yeah okay yeah okay yeah it is shit but you know i get that epic hmm. for it so they do it and it's just like that is the wrong way to to create content for a game that's because that it ultimately is not going to hold people anyway because as soon as they've got three or four pieces and they don't need anything anymore, then it's all irrelevant in the first place. Yeah, it's a scenario <laughs> effect, isn't it? Where they yeah. reward it too much. Rewarded too much and you didn't have to do anything. And that's exactly yeah. what this is. And the irony is they're upping the rewards. <laughs> they're upping the rewards for time walking in, in a patch soon. Knocking it up from 660 gear to 675. And oh, it's just like... It's scratching my head time. And then Mythic Dungeons, um, as you can probably under guess, that if, if they've, they've come out with the line that they did with Heroic Dungeons for Mr. Pandaria, they're Mythic in name only. Yeah. Um, and, but and... in saying that though, I actually had a lot of trouble when I was uh, doing a, a group run. I only did one run, mm. but uh, and it was with a, a couple of guildies, and we were yeah. pretty good. So, like, I mean, we were still having some trouble, and apparently it was uh, um, uh, what do you call it? tuned for lower eye level uh, group members. Yeah. So I feel like that's kind of difficult. Like I, I feel like I, that was mm. which which challenging. dungeon was it? Uh, that was, uh, what do you call it, Orkendoon, something like Orkendoon. that? Orkendoon. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, oh, which boss was giving us some trouble? Shit, I can't remember. Oh, that one with the ads, the, uh, with the imps that constantly cast, yeah, like, yeah. giant spells. Yeah. That was a little bit hard. Um, was that because yeah. your, your DPSs weren't interrupting, though? Was that because the cast uh, weren't interrupting? Because like, even I mean, even on like, even when they came out, if you weren't interrupting though, if you weren't interrupting those imp casts, yeah. they would kill people. Well, no, we were like we were going around mm. doing that, but like we just get overwhelmed sometimes. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. It, Obviously, there might have been like a problem. Maybe the healer wasn't good or, or something like that. Mm. But uh, you know, I, I just thought there was a bit more challenging than I thought it was going to be, which is alright. Yeah. But like, I still didn't really feel like doing it that much because I didn't really need like the gear. Like they they offer, I think one the last boss offers like item level seven hundred or something, mm. so that's alright. But well, when the um, like I don't need that. It's good catch up. When they though. were good shooting dungeons on the 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 beta for for Warlords of Draenor before yeah. six point had been released, there was this there was this period of time when we were testing heroic dungeons and they were fucking insane. Yeah. I mean, they were insane and I thought it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And I legitimately thought when they announced Mythic Dungeons, it was that kind of thing we were going to get. Yeah. It was that kind of thing where sometimes maybe you're not going to get to the end of this unless you get a little bit tougher yourself and, you know, everyone gets a little bit more coordinated. But the main thing Never mind that. The main thing for me is Mythic Dungeons could have been a huge deal. Yeah. That in itself could have been a, 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 a piece of content that, that the, the designers, the developers could have actually sat down and had an interview about, you know? 
and yeah. legitimately spoke about these new mythic dungeons. Yeah, we're bringing out these new mythic five-person dungeons. You're going to be able to do them normal heroic, and it's going to have X bosses, and it's going to have X abilities. And then if you want to venture into the mythic version, it's going to have either fresh bosses with brand new mechanics, or it's going to have the existing bosses that you've done, but they are going to gain further abilities and further mechanics of the fight. And I thought that that was the way it should have gone. Absolutely 100% should have gone. And then one step further, if you were going to release something like that, you had to do it with fresh dungeons. But because there was simply an upscale in damage with no, you know, upscale of damage in HPs with no further abilities added, they knew what it really was. It was dressing up a pig. Yeah. And, you know, people get a little bit more gear, uh, then they'll start to get easier and easier and easier. And I'm, you know, I haven't done live, but I've done PTR. Didn't have any issues really on PTR. Not hearing, yours is the first time, I've got to honestly say, yours is the first time I've heard about, you know, bit tough. Well, um, I mean, I'm not that. very good at the game. <laughs> like, I do normal <laughs> mode rating. Like, I, uh, you know, my, my guild does mm. normal mode rating, so it's not like we're the most pro players ever. Uh, we just do it casually, so uh, mm. that might skew your, your kind of reception. Well, think about it. Put it this way. I'm a... If I'm to categorize myself, I'd say I'm a heroic player mm. more than I am a mythic player. I'm, I only do the odd mythic boss here or there. But I am, I'm, my niche area is heroic. That's where I can perform, that's where I can function, that's where I can still be good. You know, that is my area. And, and so if your, your average heroic player is not having that much difficulty in mythic dungeons, do you kind of get the, the concept there? Yeah. Um, well, whereas if, if it's a normal dungeon, your average normal dungeon is finding them a little bit tough at times, yeah. then it's clearly not not performing the role of mythic and that's when we do get the fact that it's mythic in name only of course like if i mean like i said that my girls normal mode radius no that's not true they do heroic like we did cleared heroic uh black rock foundry so that was all right mm. um hey, but yeah, like, like yeah like uh we um i was gonna say like if i'm sure if i went in with a full rate uh like four other people from my raid team then i'm sure mm. i'd be able to clear mythic uh dungeons fairly reasonably easily uh yeah but yeah, like it's it's still as I said, I was expecting basically a uh, heroic version 2.0 just updated for the new patch. Uh, mm. But in, like instead, you got something that's slightly more difficult. It, it's more in the vein of Cataclysm heroics than uh, anything else. Uh, but it would have yeah. been so exciting if we had just like in ICC those three dungeons they brought in. If they brought that in mm. with yeah. the mythic difficulty, I remember back in uh, um, Mr. Pandaria, they said outright. Uh, we hear you about not having dungeons in the you know in patches. Next expansion, we're totally going to be doing that. No, they fucking didn't. They totally no. lied about that. We got they less. Said they we actually got less that. dungeons than missed. Yeah, I didn't see anyone complain about that when they announced there weren't going to be any new dungeons for the new patch. I was like, it's fucking bullshit. You said last expansion you're going to do that. Like, I'm sure that you know dungeons aren't the highest priority since you, you know fucked it in the ass a little bit. Uh, so <laughs> unfortunately. Far. Unfortunately, we, uh, you know, don't have anything new to do. Like, I mean, time walking and mythic dungeons are just rehashes in every direction. You don't have to have a huge slew of new dungeons. You just have to have, like, mm -hmm. one or two new ones to, yeah. you know, give people... The art assets yeah. were all there from Hellfire Citadel. Yeah. They could have yeah. just used the art assets to create the dungeons. Pretty much. You know, they, but Ian himself said... It's, it was one or the other, and raids went out this time. And I'm thinking it's not one or the other, because yeah, we've no. had it with ICC, and we've had it with Dragon Soul. We had the three end time dungeons with Dragon Soul as well. This is clearly a decision coming down from either Activision to say, no, they get raids or they get dungeons. They don't get both. That's too much. That's too much cost for team or whatever it is. But... That is, again, though, this is where we have we have some severe issues to talk about because this is the biggest World of Warcraft team there's ever been by a massive amount. Mist said 150 people, and that was the biggest it ever had. And then you've got Cataclysm, and then you've got, you know, uh, Wrath and Burning Crusade that are producing, not Cataclysm, but Wrath and Burning Crusade, producing much more content with a fraction of the stuff that we have now. And they said one of the reasons why they brought these 70 extra players in was that we were going to get content, content, content. 
and we've mm. got we've had less in this expansion than ever before. What the going hell on. is going on? Man, I I don't know. Like th there's something massively wrong. That obviously is, I know that there's a, a like a the, the period we have to train up the new employees. Like mm. I understand that, but they hired these people at the start of Miss. It's been yes. yeah. years. How can they yeah. possibly still be training, man? Yeah, if I hired it, it them, must be from, two years now. It must be two years in with these people. If I hired them for my company, and after years they weren't doing the job <laughs> I paid them for, they'd be fucking <laughs> fired, and I'd I'd find someone else. It's ridiculous. I mean, the, yeah. the rumor is that they've actually have not fired them, but they've reassigned. The, a lot of this WoW team has been reassigned. Yeah. But I think recently, uh, in the Ian Hazard Costas interview, he's like, no, 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 they are, they're here. You know, the group's <laughs> they're, there. They're here sleeping, yeah, sure. They're, yeah, they're awesome. here, just sat there waiting, you know, with a yeah, thumb Creating new Apexis experiences <laughs> for the, uh, the waiting for the audience. Yeah. Yeah, it's... But, so this that is another you know, that is something which is winding me up constantly. And people are, some people are trying to defend it saying, Well, you know, the technology now technology nowadays is like so difficult. It's so difficult to produce anything more than fuck all. You know, it's it's all this kind of silly tripe. You know, these are trained people for Christ's sake. You know, it's not as if they dragged seventy tramps off the freaking street and then tried to teach them how to you know, uh, to, to code or whatever. They came from a different segment. They came from Project Titan. Um, and, and now they've moved into WoW. It's not going to take them two years to get up to speed. Even they said at the end of Mists, they're coming, they're up to speed now, going into yeah. Warlords. They even said that. They're up to speed. So according to Blizzard themselves, we have 220 people up to speed and we get the worst amount content-wise. And this is meant to be the biggest content patch. And it, it just... It's it's a rehash of command. It's command table 2.0. It's a Pexis crystals 1.5. Um, it's it's not even timeless isle standard. I don't think personally. You, you know, you say there's probably there, but it's just been so badly constructed together. Yeah. You can't see it because if you don't want to do a Pexis areas, you're just cutting off, you know, a huge proportion of Tanan jungle. The time waster dungeons are exactly that. But, you know, we sort of we sort of disagree with Mythic. I think they're personally too. They should have been Mythic and not Mythic in name only. Um, and you say, you know, you've had a little bit of challenge with them. Um, so you know, we we can maybe say that's that's you know a, a, a sort of potential bit of of new content for peeps. But there's just to me that is just there is not enough. There's there isn't the choices because we're going to get on to the, the bonus events you know the time walking kind of comes under these bonus events it's not as if they're available all the time the mythic are available all the time the time walker are only available at certain certain periods so what do you what do you think about the bonus events because just well, very quickly well, to be as honest, my phone goes off at half past <laughs> one o'clock in the morning thanks dude um is is to me well, that just over, over incentivizing to do existing content I think that this would have been the worst patch ever, except for the fact that we got the adventure guide. I think that <laughs> saved it. So now it's my favorite patch. Uh, with the bonus yeah. events. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I haven't unfortunately tried the time walking dungeons. I need to get around to that before they stop, mm. before they get rid of them. Um, oh, come on, man. Why is that a, like a weekend only thing? That pisses me off. I just want to do it whenever I'm, it's convenient. I don't. Can't schedule in the time to do this content. But they had that in the Q and A though. They said somebody said, "Why is time walking only on a, a, a rotation as opposed to available all the time?" And it, the answer was, I mean, I'm paraphrasing beyond belief here. Go and see the true interview. But it was kind of like Ian was like, "Well, really, the, the, the they're only there really for alts. You know, your alts <laughs> might get something from them. Your mains." Not so much. Well, you um, the so bonus we, roll so thing, we didn't want it to feel like it was going to be an integral point of content because it's only really meant to be there as a little bit of a ta -da! Yeah. <laughs> sort of a thing as opposed to a ta -da! Yeah, yeah. They're, they're putting the bonus roll like extra thing just to get people to actually do it. Uh, and they increase the item level because I think they looked at the numbers and it's like, wow, nobody. It's like offering doing a fat this. kid a piece of cake for running around the track. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's kind of like just over incentivization for not doing something which is going to help that kid because you're just going to give him cake. <laughs> I, 
Uh, so the other bonus events was the mm. uh, triple Apexis. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. just trying to stop me from logging in that day. Uh, <laughs> what other events are there? There's the uh, pet battles where you get, uh, I think it's 200% oh, yeah. extra experience for well, pet battling. When I was doing pet battles and uh, leveling, like leveling mm. especially, I th always thought that you're supposed to level from 1 to 25 by going through like low level zones to high level zones. But then I realized, mm. no, you just stay in the same area and fight the same pets over and over that have like weak abilities and get massive experience like that. So then you mm. get uh, bonus experience items, uh, then you got this this daily thing. So you could level a pet to level 25 within like an hour, if if yeah. not less time than that. Probably way less time than that. Uh, so that to me is, just seems like non-content right there. Uh, that's just well, like I mean, a if you if, extra. If one has to Blizzard, I'm going to come to Blizzard's offense here. Sure. And that's something you're never going to hear me saying again. No, <laughs> no um... If I ask you, there's, I think there's a niche, there's a niche audience for pet battles, and the fact that they've got literally over a thousand pets in the game now, I mean, there is a ridiculous number of pets in the game. Um, it, to level them up constantly becomes more and more of a ball ache. Hence, why they put this insta level twenty five stone into the game in 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 what as well. So I think for people that, that want to really keep that diversity within their group or want to try and get their pets to a constant level of 25, I think it benefits them quite a bit. I think it's, I don't think it's meant to, I don't think Blizzard are screaming and shouting saying, hey, people do pet battles. I'm sure they'd like to see more people do pet battles, but I, I think it's more there for the core audience and, and kind of understanding that the number of pets is getting out of fucking control. <laughs> Yeah, and but... if you are going to keep them all of a higher level, they, they do need a little bit of a push here and there. So the pet battle one doesn't kind of bother me at all. It, so you got, say, you got, it doesn't yeah. bother me. It's just non-content. It's just something I don't care about at all. Like, I mean, if I was power leveling, <laughs> that'd be good. That was it. That's like the end of that story. Uh, are there any other bonuses? Uh, there's the there's the coin for time walking. There's the um, mirror, the time yeah the coin for time walking. Oh, there's the I didn't know that was, I didn't know that huh? was an event. Uh, the time walking. I think it's either an event or a weekly. Yeah, I think it's an event because obviously you can only do it while time walking's on. Or I think there's yeah, a yeah. yeah. Um, uh, or, or there's I think there's a weekly. There's a, like a weekly quest that you can get a coin by doing three or five mythics a week or something like that. I think that's a weekly quest okay. as opposed to as, as opposed to a bonus one. But yeah, I, it, there's, there's a few, there's a couple of others, but that's just, it's so sort of like, meh, it's not jumping out at me. Mm. <laughs> you know, I know, I know for a fact there's like a couple of other bonus things, but it's just because, it, like I say, it's just like meh content. It's like non-content. It's, it's very, very under the radar. Uh, yeah. It, it's, I think it's like a feature that a lot of other MMOs have nowadays where you log in and they give you like a bonus on certain days or if you've been logged mm. out for a certain period of time. Just like mm. rest of experience, really. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's, I wouldn't count it as content. I would just count it as a thing they add in to keep people playing. Mm. Uh, a carrot on a stick, more or less. And if uh, we touch, just touch on raids then for a little bit, because I've done, I did a few bosses sure. on the PTR. I tested a few bosses on the PTR. I did some LFR on the PTR as well, just so I could see some more bosses. You've done some raiding in Hellfire. Yeah. I don't think raids is anything Blizzard are particularly going to get wrong. If Blizzard, no. Blizzard get a raid wrong, that is going to be an exception to the rule as opposed to a norm. I think they've always been of such a high standard, and I don't see... From what I saw of Hellfire, the boss fun fights felt fun. They felt yep. cool. Yep. I don't see that changing. So to me, I'm not dismissing raids. I'm not dismissing that as a, as a good part of 6.2 because I think raids are a very good part of 6.2. But I just don't feel raiding has ever been in any difficulty in WoW. I think Dragon Soul was a miss. But that, again, like I said, that's an exception yeah. as opposed to the rule. But if if you know if you said all right, take away Dragon Soul, tell me a bad Blizz raid, I'm struggling to think, because all the others are very very good, mm. you know, even, from even ICC if, to even all when they reintroduced Next Remus, I mean, I know mm. a lot of people have played that. I mean, that was one of my favorites because like I hadn't played it back in the day, and they brought it back, and it was accessible, no, I so I appreciated yeah. that. But you I'd have accessed look, it. If you have a look back at the original raids that they came out with, like uh, Anixia mm. and uh, like um, yeah. That what was that one that came, Molten Core, the one that got Molten fucked Core. up in Alpha. Uh, 
Uh, oh, yeah, so yeah, those yeah. those rays, you look back at them, they're like awful. And you have a look at the rays nowadays, and they're so complex and they're so cool. Yeah. I would probably say that it, sometimes it borders on too complex because like there's a giant mm. learning curve when you initially do it. Like you just have yeah, to like, watch I, a guide and. I heard like, Asmund well. Gold speaking about that with raiding. Yeah, yeah. A little if bit. This, this, yeah, if there's anything I, wrong with raiding, it might not be quite accessible enough for people because yeah. of the complex nature of fighting. I don't want to complain about it because it's a good thing, but by the same token, for a lot of people, it's a bit of a deterrent for them when they get into reading because mm -hmm. they have to read this giant wall of text in their, uh, uh, what is it, the, uh, the yeah. dungeon book thing. The, no, it's the adventure guide now. Can you please get it correct? Oh, uh, all right. Yes, yes. It's no the longer the dungeon guide. guide. It tells you you can do a skirmish. Oh, it tells me how to have fun. Well I, said. I needed that. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to have fun in this game at all. Neither did I. But I read that dungeon journal and it said, Do you want to do Apex's Crystal Days? And suddenly I fucking loved them. Oh, and I also love how you open the adventure guide and it's like, How about you do Black Rock Foundry? How about you do the raid that you just spent months doing? It's like, How about no? How about you suck my dick? How about that adventure guide? Um, it would, it would but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I understand about the. This wall of text in in the ability yeah. section, and people are just like, you know, I don't, I don't want to read all that. I want somebody yeah. to tell me what to do. Like Blizzard have always been uh, easy to learn, hard to master. I would actually yeah. say yeah. some Chess. of the fights are bordering on hard to learn, hard to master, and that's not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should be like it should be like like a, a few main abilities that are really obvious, really visual. That as soon as you see, you'd be like, oh shit, man. Okay, I understand. You got to get out of that thing. You got to kill this this uh, tank before it reaches this thing. That's fair yeah. enough. Uh, but when yeah. you have all kind of like side abilities and and shit to watch out for, like when you get to the last bosses and there's like 15 phases now, and you have to remember each one of them. Like you're fighting the I think it was the the Klaxi in Siege of Orgrimmar, and there was a yeah. hundred thousand abilities. So much so <laughs> that you just lose track of what's happening, and mm. you just end up listening for the voice in your headset yelling at you to yeah, do yeah. the thing. Yeah. And that's it. You just you, you start ads, focusing. Ads. Okay, right, yeah, ads. it's like, okay, the, the globs are bad. Kill the globs. Click it, click it, click it! Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Kill yeah. this dude. Kill the guy with the skull. It's like, <laughs> okay, I, I, I guess I'll do that. It's like, yeah. yeah. I, I get that. Yeah. And then the the problem is, of course, if they if they start nerfing dungeon uh, raiding, sorry, oh, then God. the game is going to have no yeah. complexity at no, all. I'm, I'm out. If they do that, I'm out. But man, yeah, like, that's it's, it. it's that's good. That, that's, you know, might as well just like shut up shop and go. Yeah. Because um, I think they're already having some issues with uh, the fact that I don't. I, I think that Mythic has been very um, very hot or cold, and I, and I don't I don't know if. They could actually legitimately say that Mythic has helped raiding. Yeah, that the I, number of guilds that, that have probably dropped out because of it. I know that a lot of guilds are having trouble with that uh, twenty-man thing. Yeah, that's um, the crux. It's not the fight. Yeah. It's not the toughness of the fight. It's the it's the twenty-person thing that's the yeah. issue. Yeah, yeah, because like people are so used to the flexible system now of ten yeah. and thirty. Is it? Is it thirty? Uh, well, it, it. I think it. Yeah, it kind of is. But yeah, then LFR yeah. still got stuck at twenty-five for some reason. Yeah, yeah, that's weird. Uh, yeah. So, Vibes. like, it's it's unless you have, I mean, if you have thirty people in your raid team, then you have to cull ten of them, and that kind of sucks. And if you if you just can't recruit, like, I mean, our, our guilds had you know, trouble forever just trying to recruit. Then, yeah. like, you'll probably end up with like, you know a, a roster of about fifteen, and then you only have about twelve that show up to a raid or eleven. Yeah. You know, sometimes the backups just aren't there, and it's, and mm. then like just the the idea of transferring to mythic is like, well. We're just gonna have to join up with another guild and give this a try, I guess, because mm. I don't know if we could do this by ourselves. <laughs> that's what we did, and that's yeah. why we can't be bothered to raid anymore because yeah, we exactly. we teamed up with a bunch of absolute tools, and <laughs> uh, they were on their third merger of the expansion, and this is back in February or something when we were doing this, and then we realised why they were on their third merger, and it was just and that, and then when we got rid of those guys, we all kind of got together as a guild, and we we're just like, you know, I think they've just sort of sucked the soul out of the fun yeah. um, of, of raiding. So we decided to call it quits on that, and we just we just well we play Final Fantasy now, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, raiding is kind of like the last bastion of of yeah, it's tough. The 
content. Only, only reason I'm subscribed right now is for raids. Mm. If it wasn't for that, I mean, this patch was so disappointing to me, just with the Apexus in the shipyard, that mm. if it wasn't for the raids, I would have unsubscribed and just waited until the next expansion. I'm sure it'll be just as disappointing, but... Uh, you know, it, it's something new, I guess. I, the leveling in the new expansion is so fun, man. Like, it's a couple of weeks yeah. of just, re like, a really good time. I always yeah. say to uh, my girlfriend, uh, whenever there's a new expansion, I'm just like, I am going to be gone for yes. weeks. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. leave me alone. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm, leave me I'm alone. going to be I'm AWOL. Yeah. I'm probably yeah. not going to eat much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, later. Just, just, it just intravenously put minerals into <laughs> yeah. my body. And then I finally I emerge with cobwebs, and I'm like, Chrysalis, I did like, it. like a butterfly. Not really. <laughs> Stink like a fucking asshole, more like. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I, I like to do normal mode rating. I don't think I'm going to be up for doing another heroic set of raids this time. I just want to do your normal. Yeah. Because it's something you can kind of blaze through. And then I feel like yeah. I've done all the bosses. Like, they, they are... It's better than LFR. I only do LFR if I just want to see what the bosses look like, essentially. Sure, I understand that. I understand that. Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they themselves said that they wanted to improve on it because it's still not a piece of content where people communicate, cooperate... Yeah. Um, it that really one, is yeah. a turn up and turn up and shut the fuck up and give me my epics kind of a, a thing. But I, I do <laughs> still think the game would be better served to take it out. Oh yeah, of course. Have there normal rating. Have normal rating as the introduction. Start putting some more fucking dungeons back into the game <laughs> and have that as the bridge. It works far better. You're going to get much more of a social feel in a dungeon than you are in an LFR environment. Period. Yeah, and actually, if, that, yeah. if that means sticking an epic at the end of the, the final bosses of each dungeon, so be it. I, I'm halfway through watching uh, Noble's video, if Noble was in charge of World of Warcraft, and he was talking about yeah. LFR and how it was not good for the game at all. It's uh, not. And how they keep like you know, reducing the difficulty in some areas to cater to the, the mouth breathers, as it were. Mm. Which kind of sucks ass. Yeah. That's, that's I, don't, I mean, I, 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 I mean, I'm... I'm activating my sub again this weekend this coming weekend uh, but that's purely because if I do a thing every sun well I used to do a thing every Sunday called Sunday Mass mm. and it's actually Sunday Mass mount farming because I go mount farming and it gets in a huge audience from, yeah. from Twitch it can be anywhere between three to 900 people which is massive for me um, so that's the only reason why I'm subbing I'm not, I'm not resubbing for 6.2 I'm not resubbing because I believe in the content I'm simply resubbing for these, these Twitch people mm. and, and when I look at 6.2 I don't see any development I don't see any mistakes rectified I don't <clears> see anything which says to us we are learning, we're trying something different, is this, has this worked? And I think if you do those forms of content, it's forgivable. Hmm. Because if you do those forms of content and they don't quite work, but you have seen that something fresh and new has been attempted, you can get on board with that. You can say, okay, yeah, it hasn't worked, because if it does work, there's something like brilliant. Hmm. But but when you just look at the the base, the, you know, the the, the common denominator of what 6.2 is it's another command table it is just more ap dailies i don't even want to say the real full words i'm just going to say ap <laughs> it's more ap dailies and you know the dungeoneering is you know take it or leave it at best and that essentially is the whole of the patch mm. i don't think there's content there which is going to last people more than a few weeks. Oh no, no way, man! Like unless you are obsessed with collecting uh, pets or getting mm. all the stuff off rares. I mean, that's what kept me playing Timeless Isle was the optional stuff, like the pets and, and all that. If it wasn't for that, I would have given up after a couple of weeks anyway. But, but this, I would this, have enjoyed myself. Yeah, I mean, this horrible tagline of casual gamer. I, I hate it because. Um, I think it's very dis disrespectful to those people because a casual gamer has these negative kind of connotations and a casual gamer to me is not somebody that just you know uh, is low skill low this low that to me a casual gamer is just somebody that doesn't have 30 hours a week to put into the game mm. it's somebody that can have you know could be way better than you could have a much high could have a high skill set but simply can only invest three four five six hours in the game a week and as a casual player, for a casual player to look at this sort of thing to do, I don't think there's really 
that kind of content there that's going to keep them thinking, well, you know, oh, I'm going to log in. Can't wait to log into WoW today. I'm going to do my AP dailies. Yeah. Or, you know, can't, can't, can't wait to log in today. I'm going to send some more ships out there and have them explode at 99%, you know, completion rate because they failed. Mm -hmm. ah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. not that. Because they're not going to go into the raids, you know, if, they, if they're, you know, they're, or they're going to only go into LFR if they only have those short bursts of time. And these are the people which make up the bulk of the game now. So it's quite ironic that people try and put down the casual gamer but when they're making up such a vast proportion of the community, you know, raiding is now getting shrinking. Uh, certainly competitive raiding is sort of just like shrinking in size. You know, you might be getting a few more people toying with the lower difficulty levels because of flexibility. Uh, but there is, there is nothing, I think, in 6.2 that says we're getting there, folks. Well, those kind of people that are very... You know, casual means both I don't have enough time to play games often and also people who just play games on the side but don't take it seriously. Like, unfortunately, mm. that kind of means both of those camps. Uh, that's just a thing, like, mm. you know, we have to deal with. Uh, so people who uh, just play, uh, like, not very often, they don't take the game seriously, they, mm. they, I don't think they actually care if there's a lot of content. The game for them is uh, more the experience of just being able to run around the world and interact with other human beings in a virtual space. Uh, a lot mm. of them, like, it, they they just kind of uh, walk around and take selfies of themselves fighting things. And, like, that's that to them is, like, the enjoyment of the game. It's just doing random ass shit. Like, yeah, for us, yeah. we, we kind of expect things because we're playing the game so long. <laughs> for a lot of those people, yeah. a lot of them are new. They don't care. Like, it's, it's all new stuff to them. They've got lots of other old content to do from leveling up. Uh, so that's all good for them. Uh, so, so that's not a big deal. Uh, but yeah, there's not a lot of stuff outside of raids that is, like, super progressive in terms of the game. Which sucks. Mm. Uh, mm. But, yeah, like, there are still raids. As long as raids are still around, I'll stay subscribed and I'll keep playing uh, until, mm. you know, I just don't have enough time anymore. I am slightly glad they have introduced, like, the fact that the overused raid difficulties kind of sucks. Um, because now people don't have to reach for a certain, uh, you know, skill level. They just have yeah. to, you know, do the easy thing that is, you know, what they can, they are capable of, and never go beyond that. Uh, so that's that. That's the thing. But I also appreciate that they've given me personally options because I just don't have enough time to play this game full time anymore. I used mm. to be able to, uh, but then you know stuff happened. So uh, I appreciate that I can still see some of this. Uh, this content, but I think LFR went in the wrong direction. I think I was just catering to complete mm. idiots, and a normal mode with group finder mm. is perfect. Yeah, for a, for I think that, I think it's nothing wrong with that making yeah. that the entry level experience because Absolutely. in essence, normal now is is that flexi. So normal isn't what normal used to be. Normal is flexi mm. from the last experience. Heroic is what normal used to be. Yeah. So, so I think that's the you know, and I think four levels of difficulty is just too messy. Yeah, yeah it's, it's getting, just too it's messy. Really Three, ridiculous. okay, I can kind of get, I, I can understand that if you had the flexi at, at, um, at entry level, but I think there's got to be more choices because everything's been so bastardized down to basic, like professions are nothing anymore in a game. There, there doesn't seem to be anything really to invest your time in outside of raiding mm. or AP grinding. Um, and that's, I mean, not, that's not good for me. People always just talk to other people in the game. For me, when I was playing full-time, the whole appeal of the game was not really the content and how advanced it was. It was about forming relationships with other people. Mm. Uh, like in guilds, you know, doing content together. That was mm. the main drive for me. Uh, so they've got the content there to, to do that. Uh, but when you can't play the game, like, full-time... Like, uh, like I can't anymore. Like, I, I, I can even I barely even schedule for us to have like a Skype call, man. Yeah, like, yeah, it's taken us yeah. literally months to get. Yeah, this it has. Uh, yeah. So, like a couple of days ago, ideally we should have just done it straight away. I actually looked at my uh, schedule and I was like, shit, man. If I did like, if I had the Skype call right now, then I might be able to <laughs> slip in like an hour. But I was like, no, I, I, like I got stuff on the next couple of days. It's gonna be crazy. Um, yeah. So yeah, like I just simply don't have the time. Like I, I try and schedule in raids, but I've told my girl later, I'm like, I'm going to be so sketchy 
that I don't even like I'm glad flexible system is in place because I am going to show up to like no raids unfortunately uh, mm. yeah it, it, just, it just sucks man and so uh, I am I'm glad that they put in those uh, you know difficulty levels that people can just drop in drop out of uh, that, yeah. that's good that's a good system but yeah um, I think group finder was very much needed and LMR, yeah. not so much now. Yeah, I think GroupFind is great. I think great yeah. GroupFind is a great is. addition. So to kind of wrap up a little bit, a couple of questions sure. i got for you here. Uh, yep. First of all, in a couple of days' time, depending on which part of the world you're from, because we are literally poles apart, mm -hmm. um, Q2 comes to an end. And in about six weeks' time, we'll get the Q2 figures. Mm -hmm. any, any thoughts, any speculations, Ooh. what you think will happen with them? Uh, they are always so chaotic, and you can rarely predict them. Uh, d it kind of depends what happened in the last three months. Let me think. It had wow the token. token. There was the wow token, and um, there was perhaps six point two. They were the kind of two things. Hearthstone's still doing well, so that'd be a big promotional yeah. tool. Um, I actually went to a uh, Comic Con the other day, and they had a Hearthstone booth. I was like, "That's crazy, man!" Like I've mm. never seen Blizzard do anything at these kind of pop culture conventions. Uh, so yeah, what else? massive. It's, it's touching. Yeah. It's touching people that it's never reached before. It's, yeah. it's amazing for them. Yeah, phones and tablets. It's yeah. Awesome. Uh, so yeah, what Rannies else happened? Rannies playing it. You know, the people, the, yeah. the exact <laughs> audience they want. Your little child through to your granny are playing Hearthstone. Yeah. Um, I don't know. If, I mean, the the patch obviously. I don't think this patch would have influenced the numbers that much. Uh, yeah. Unless unless the drop off is at the very end. Um, but I don't. I'm not expecting to. Oh, I don't know, man. Because uh, like the figures went up, didn't it last time? Or what, did they go down? Down they by down. three million. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's right. So I don't know if it'll go down a lot. I think mm. maybe it'll be stable. Uh, I don't think it's going to go way back up again. I mm. think that time has passed. Uh, I, think, I think, unfortunately, yeah. this this expansion has caused a stigma with Blizzard now, that they're rushing a bit of the work and. Yeah. They have never been the company that does that, and now they are. Uh, yeah. People saw the rushed uh, launch. They yeah. saw the um, the garrison didn't do so well, and actually mm -hmm. made people more antisocial. The patches mm -hmm. have been very lackluster, uh, mm -hmm. and and now like they were talking about you know only having this this patch be the final patch. We don't know about that yet. Yeah, but, um, that's you know, that's ambiguous. We don't know if there's more coming or not. Yeah, and then they had the bad PR with the flying man. It's just it's. I feel yeah. sorry for th for them at this stage. Like they're still a good company. They still got like a lot of good games uh, on the horizon. Like uh, Hearthstone, Heroes of the Storm, Overwatch. Um, like I love playing Heroes of the Storm and Hearthstone. Like because I can just do 15 minute matches and I can stop and it's really fun, really intense, really mm. uh, strategic. Um, mm. So yeah, I, I mean I play that. both of those in bursts. Yeah, exactly. I'll play a little bursts. bit Heroes of the Storm. I'm not going to invest yeah. in it though because of the ridiculous pricing structure, and yeah. you know Hearthstone. I'll do a little bit of Hearthstone every now and again, and I like it. I like, but you know, I like both if I just do them in short, short, sharp bursts. Absolutely. So, like, they're still got good games, and I think a lot of their good devs have moved over to those games. Uh, mm. And, but I mean, think about it, right? What what dev is going to stick around for ten years and still come up with ideas? Like, obviously, they've got a whole new team in now uh, since the original days, mm. uh, which is, you know, that's going to happen inevitably. Um, so they're trying to do what they can. I just don't think they're doing a good enough job. But if you, if you can't bring anything to the table while you're there, isn't it? Yeah. it could be a it could be another retort. I I personally think there's more from upstairs hindering the downstairs. Uh, I think I think there's there's you know, Activision are just kind of saying, look, this is a ten year old game now. We're, let's fucking milk it. Let's just yeah. milk it for what we can get. It's going to have a finite life on it. All this talk about we want it to be around in 10 more years' time, I kind of believe that when I see it, to be perfectly honest with you. Huh. Um, I'm not sure that it's got 10 years left in it whatsoever. I, I think that's... When, when the response, when they lost 3 million, was to put up a, a... to actually flick the switch on the storm out less than two <laughs> days later, that, to me, was just such a cynical move on yeah. their behalf. It, it yeah. kind of said everything. Um, I personally, though, think the figures are going to go back up because of the WoW token. Mm. I think this this element of free-to-play, if you have enough gold, even though it's not free-to-play because somebody else is paying your subscription fee, and not only that, they're pay paying a higher amount. 
You have to bear in mind though that th th there's been a like a three months drought of content, so usually that would mm. dip the numbers a little bit. I think mm. that the Q3 numbers might be a little bit cataclysmic after you know if people aren't enjoying this patch, then they'll mm. go down quite a bit. Um, mm. And it really depends what what they announce at BlizzCon for Q4. Uh, sometimes when they announce a new expansion. Uh, people resubscribe in droves, yeah. not because there's new content, but because they're so excited and yes. they just want to get back into the game. But but can we, after BlizzCon 2013, when all when uh, so much of the stuff they announced about what never happened. Oh yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we got this this you know like you said we got this rushed release, but we we're all kind of in hope that they would support it, and they didn't. So it just fell fell on its face, yeah, as, and the, it seen for what it was. That's but if they the announce, stigma. it's great. Yeah. Let's say they say, "Oh, it's the dart below." Let's use your your famous <laughs> phrase. It's yeah, the dart, yeah, buddy. It's Dark the high seas. seas. It's the Shara. There's Naga everywhere. Everyone's getting pumped and excited. What? Ever they say at BlizzCon, how are we going to take that as truth? Because we've been absolutely oh, taking up the arse with Wad. Well, because but... we're we'll saying every video a YouTuber does, I said this, I, Bell Yular and I were talking the other night, mm. and we said every video that a YouTuber does is going to be this, this, you know, this content they announced, whether or not it makes it in the game, <laughs> you know, there's, there's going to be a disclaimer with yeah. every single solitary thing that there you report on. I reckon even Blizzard will have disclaimers in front of everything. They will slightly <laughs> sentence with "This is not a promise." Uh, yeah, before they we, start we are going to attempt to. Although they might have just a flash on the screen during BlizzCon disclaimer: yeah. content announced may not happen. Yeah, uh, you know he, something like that. But it's good. I think that's going to be a tricky situation because it is going to get the hype wagon up, and people are going to be excited. But when the yeah. when everything simmers down and the cold, harsh reality sinks in, I think there's going to be a lot more people this time around thinking. But are we going to get it? And then when they release the the alpha or the beta, and people start going in, and if certain elements of those contents are missing, and it gets reported on, you know, saying, well, they said that this is going to happen, this is not happening at all, this is not happening at all, this is not happening, so that could have a potentially a, a big detrimental effect on the launch of the next expansion. And with literally a year's time, we've got. The Warcraft movie coming out of the cinema, I can't mm. see Blizzard wanting to go into that with World Warcraft at an all-time low. <laughs> they would, they would, they must, you know, they must be thinking we have to go into that movie with optimism and excitement surrounding the World of Warcraft. Otherwise, you're going to say, should, you know, say to somebody, "Hey, do you want to go and see the World of Warcraft movie at the cinema?" And they turn around and say, "Oh, isn't isn't that?" Fucking game, which is always in the news for people leaving by the millions. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like not an advertisement to go. Nah, no, pass. You know, it's not an advertisement to see the film, really, is it? Yeah, I'm sure they'll work out something, some stupid mm. deal. They'll have some event in the game. I I'm sure they'll like try and line up the new expansion with the movie or something. Like, or hype it up. I don't know. They'll they'll do something, something ridiculous. Mm. So six mm. and finally six point two. How long do you visit yourself playing it? Just as long as you're raiding, or do you see above and beyond? Yeah, man, just as long as I'm raiding. Um, I'm hopefully going to clear normal mode, and then I'm just going to... Uh, like, I mean, I'm always subscribed, because I've got the six months recurring thing, it's yeah. not a big deal. Uh, but, like, in terms of playing, like, no. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be done after I do the... Uh, after I see all the bosses... Uh, after that point, I'm just going to wait for the new expansion, and I'm going to advise everyone in the audience to do exactly the same thing. Just <laughs> like for you guys, unsubscribe after the new patch. Like after you kind of finished with checking out the new raid. Uh, if you enjoyed Tanan in the shipyard, that's cool, man. Uh, but yeah, unsubscribe after that because there's going to be a massive drought. I don't know if it's mm -hmm. going to be until the next expansion or just the new patch, but I seriously doubt because of the fact. That they've been so up in the air about whether or not they're going to do a final patch, I think that they would just be throwing something together at this stage. Yeah, yeah. They haven't got it planned, so therefore anything yeah. they come up with is not going to be amazing. I think uh, they. I personally think they're they're working on an attempt to to somehow bring Farallon back in. Yeah, they'll they'll, they'll stitch together some corpse and yeah. then call it new content. I'm sure they'll mm. be able to try and do that, but like don't. 
hold giant expectations. Just take mm. a look at the patch notes when that comes out. See if it's any good. Like, if it doesn't have a new raid, then I don't even know if I'd be willing to play again. I'd just be like, I'm it, it, I mess. doubt 6.3 would have a raid. I'd be very, very surprised if it did. Yeah. I mean, they, they might do a, a, a Ruby Sanctum and have one boss. Yeah, you know, yeah. Something like that. Just like I, a, I, yeah. Th okay. this is, sorry, this is a thing for another video, but very quickly, I think that's what World of Warcraft can benefit from. Lots of single, single boss yeah, epic like, ones I, that are really I, yeah. hard to beat. Yeah, I think that's a great little thing. I think that's a great little concept. Yeah. Getting there, a little bit of trash, and then straight onto this one big kind of boss. Kind of Ruby Sanctum, um, uh, uh, Malagos, so, um, so the one in the Wormrest as well. The, there was the other one began with S. Sartharian. Mm. Sartharian with his three drakes. That kind of, I think that stuff worked very well, personally. Yeah. I, the, I would like to say more yeah. that, but yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you can't do anything uh, decent in the amount of time that you have, I mean, they're always saying like, "Oh, we can't do a final patch because then it would take development time away from the new expansion." It's like, well, you know, <laughs> just maybe throw like a little something together. I mean, but when I'm does that stop? When does that excuse excuse stop? Because that seems yeah. to be the ongoing excuse that everyone says, "Oh, they're working on the next expansion," and then we get to this situation that we're in now, when we were complaining about mist. Oh, they're working on the next expansion, <laughs> and then we get to this, and they say they're working on the next expansion. You said they were working on this fucking expansion. You know, you can't then say, oh no, now they're working on the next one. That just seems to be a very convenient generic excuse which just ties people over and over. Oh, they're probably working on the next one. Right, yeah. okay. Because they work so it's, fucking hard on this. It's kind of frustrating to go into the uh, comment section of like, whenever something happens in WoW, uh, well, like, there hasn't been a lot of content, people are just like, yeah, they'll work on the new expansion, they'll work on the new patch. It's like, well, yeah. Yeah, like they, they should have been doing that before this point and, uh, you know, releasing you know, more content than in previous expansions uh, instead of less. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm really sick of seeing less dungeons every expansion mm -hmm. uh, and less content overall. Like, in terms, especially mm -hmm. in terms of uh, new ideas. But I want new, ideas. yeah, I mean, Ian said in the recent interview, he said, we're, we're investigating technology to constantly scale dungeons. And I was like, great, they're just going to put out a handful of dungeons and then just scale them through every patch. That's not <laughs> yeah. what we want. I think eight eight dungeons on launch was fine, but I expected a couple to be in six point one. Yeah, they said they were going to do it, a couple, and then yeah, they just lied. That, that's why we thought it was happening. That's why, yeah. like, okay, eight's the lowest. It doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter. You know, it's okay because we know we're going to get more throughout the patches, and then they've just, you know, again, well, we didn't promise. We, you know, all that fucking yeah. smarmy bullshit shite uh, that just pisses doesn't that doesn't endear you to a community. It just pisses them off. I wonder, if, um, I wonder if the there should have been two in 6.1, there should have been two or three in this patch, oh, and if it was going to be a 6.3, there should have been at least one in there. And that's, I, that's um, kind of how they should have spread them out. I personally wonder if the community managers ever get just super frustrated with the developers, where they have, have, have to keep... Have you Twitter? Bullshit? What he does is bitch about the community. Never really? mind, not them. <laughs> he just bitches about the community. That's all he's been doing recently. Check out his tweets. It's just bitch after bitch after bitch. I mean, just imagine being hired today in, in in Blizzard, and just essentially being like, like they just say to you, okay, we essentially need you to just be a spin doctor because we just don't know what we're doing anymore. Uh, and it's like, well, I totally signed up for this. That's cool, man. Like, no, not really. Uh, so, I think that's what might be happening a little bit. Like, I think maybe they're getting a little bit frustrated because they have to keep bullshitting because yeah. they just don't have any decent answers. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if there's actually any legitimate answers to be passed on. Yeah, exactly. I think, because I do think there's massive, I think there's something wrong there. There is something really wrong right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, so you'd only subscribe for the raids. Yep. I'm subbing simply to do a Sunday stream, <laughs> which my audience love. But I have no interest in this content at all. Mm. It's not support of this content at all. Um, I yeah, just what? don't. I don't know how it's going to get better. I really don't. I, I don't. I, I actually spend more time watching YouTube videos about WoW than I actually do playing the game from uh, <laughs> YouTubers that I follow. That's sad. <laughs> I, I yeah. understand what you mean, though. I do understand what you mean. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I talk. I talk a lot with other YouTubers, other WoW YouTubers, and we kind of, you know, have. I'm not 
putting any words in their mouths or anything like that. But we, we kind of go through our concerns about what's happening right now. And it does seem to be an underlying theme which kind of goes through the majority of us. Um, that we have these very similar kind of concerns uh, as regards to content. We all express it in different ways. Um, but I just wanted to see some hope in 6.2. And uh, just a redone command table and rehashed Apexis dailies didn't give me that hope. The dungeons didn't give me that hope. Raids are always tight, so there's nothing really to expect, anything different. Um, but the Adventure Guide saved the day, and WoW is 10 out of 10 game of the year. Absolutely. I can't Must wait. have. Epic. Can't wait to see IGN's review in progress. Oh, it's reading like a fairy tale. Yeah. Best <laughs> expansion ever. Ever. I've bought yep. three subs already during that last paragraph. Yep. Mm. Well, That's dude, right. thank you ever so much for taking the time. No, no doubt worries, we'll catch man. up in about six months. <laughs> <laughs> of course. When maybe. maybe oh. So we can talk about um, Metal Gear Solid, so we can talk about Fallout 4. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but yeah, but the thing is, though, with those kind of big titles coming out towards yeah. the end of the year, that's making me excited. Mm. I'm thinking, ooh, Metal Gear, ooh, Fallout 4, ooh, new Tomb Raider. <laughs> you know, Absolutely. I'm kind of thinking, I see probably where more of my time is going to go at the arse end of this year. As yeah, we're actually, uh, having a look at like my uh, calendars to see what game's coming out towards the end of the year. Let me see. Yeah, Metal Gear 5 is in September. Uh, can't see anything else. Why do I not have anything else Tomb here? Must Raider, have just Halo, Fallout 4, they're all kind of like Novemberish time. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's some there's some decent decent titles coming out towards the mm. end this year. Batman's just come out now. I wanted to get on the PC, but uh, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> After it kind of got pulled, because yeah, being, I saw that shit. It, yeah, terrible. Just crashes constantly. Yeah, well, thanks ever so much, dude, for giving up your time. It's been awesome. Nice, man. Um, yeah, I, I, th I mean, I haven't heard from the community-wise. I think it's had quite a tepid response. There are some yeah. people that are kind of like, it's okay, it's all right. But I, there's no real kind of shouting from the rooftops that this is awesome and this is brilliant and fantastic. And that, yeah. is, that is kind of like the feeling I had at this time, last expansion with 5.2. I was actually revigorated about Mists because I think 5.2 did such a great job. This mm. hasn't done that 5.2 job. Mm. No. Right. Will you take care? Yeah, you too, man. And, uh, see you next time, mate! <laughs> <laughs> take care, man.